So before we leave vaccines, I want to ask one broad question about our vaccine ambitions. Some scientists have been calling for a broader, a broader spectrum vaccine for the coronaviruses. We've had the previous SARS, we've had MERS, and now we have this outbreak. What's the possibility of creating a massive national investment in some sort of broader universal vaccine that could tackle these issues for us? Well, that's certainly the highest priority, certainly of the institute that I direct, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, where we have dramatically increased the resources specifically going to a pan-coronavirus vaccine. But before you get there, you want a pan-SARS-CoV-2 vaccine to get all the variants. Let's take one step at a time. And then ultimately a pan-coronavirus vaccine. I think what people don't fully appreciate is that there are fundamental scientific challenges before you can actually make a full court press on this. It isn't as if you have a clear pathway to a product and all you need to do is to dump more resources into it. We are putting substantial resources into it, but there are certain fundamental scientific, I wouldn't say roadblocks, but scientific issues that need to be addressed. Once you get beyond them, and we have some of our best scientists working on that right now, then hopefully we'll have a really clear a clear and rapid pathway to this universal coronavirus vaccine. We certainly are making it a high priority.